Welcome back, geology fans. We left off last time 200 feet under the Intercontinental Seaway in the Benton Formation, but our drive takes us directly to Formation 4B, the Pier Shale. This aerial shot gives an idea of the extent of this formation, which is 700 feet thick at its type locality. This unit also suffers from swelling soil, and we see that buildings with foundations are generally absent from this valley. Our vehicular time machine takes us on an undulating, bumpy ride across the Pier Shale Valley, but we pause at the top of this unit for one last stop. We get out of the bus in the Pier Shale and can look at its details now. On our chart, 4B, the Pier Shale has minerals of clay, which will also be its grain size. The age is about 80 to 70 million years, so we can put a date on our chart of 75 million years. The environment is the Intercontinental Sea, and the event is the Cretaceous Greenhouse Climate. But here at the top of the pier, we see the shale begin to give way to sand bodies, some of which even show mud crack impressions on their bottom surface. The mud crack shape itself, bulging out, tells us this is the bottom of the sandstone, and the cracks were made in the mud. The mud must have been exposed to the air, and so our sea must be regressing. But as seas don't smoothly regress and transgress, we go back underwater and then expose again and then back underwater and repeat this until we are finally in a purely sandstone formation, which we will call 4C. If this all sounds familiar, it should. This is just what we saw previously on campus. There we saw pier shale grading into Fox Hills sandstone, and so it is here as well. We know that on campus, the Fox Hills then gave way to the Laramie Formation, and at the far end of this outcrop, it does have Laramie, which, like on campus, was mined out and now is covered with a blanket of sandy mine tailings. So this last formation should be easy. 4C is the Fox Hills Sandstone, which is uniform beach sandstone, and the last time we will see beachfront property in this area. The grain size, as on campus, is under one millimeter with erosional surfaces. Here we can also see fossil trunks and roots of mangrove trees. This beach began as a mangrove swamp, and as we saw on campus, this area was a beach around 69 million years ago. The succeeding Laramie Formation is 68 million years ago, and so our trip today has taken us from 1.7 billion years to 68 million years, and everything has been tilted. And so we can say again that the elephant in the room, the Rocky Mountains, formed after 68 million years ago. We take strike and dip, and if we do so all along our trip from today, it looks something like this. It seems that on our drive across the intercontinental seaway of the Pier Shale, the general strike and dip of our beds have shifted. We took this trip to the south today to see the rocks that were pinched out by the Golden Fault along the Pier Shale. Here we are at the southern end of the scissor cut in the crust. So with great regret, we get back on the bus to go back to campus thinking about the formation and breakup of supercontinents of the rising and falling of seas, of life forms going from simple single-celled microbes to gigantothermic sauropods, and all kinds of life evolving and going extinct, sometimes with global devastation. With the right knowledge in your mental toolkit, your trip across this valley has become a trip through time and into the wonders that holds. Thanks for taking the trip with me, and remember to enjoy your world.